Perhaps no one enjoyed being a Hollywood heartthrob more than Tony Curtis, right up to the end. I had all that dark hair and blue eyes, a nice figure jumping around. I mean, how could you not go for me? I even went for me. He shook off pretty boy roles to become a respected actor, starting with Sweet Smell of Success in 1957. This is the crossroads for me. He was a noble slave in Spartacus. I'm Spartacus! And won an Oscar nomination as a white racist handcuffed to Sidney Poitier in The Defiant Ones. I'm gonna kill you. Born Bernie Schwartz in the Bronx, Tony Curtis was married six times. Janet Lee was his first wife. Actress Jamie Lee Curtis, their daughter. This notorious ladies' man may have had his biggest hit disguised as a woman. All aboard. In Some Like It Hot, opposite Jack Lemmon and Marilyn Monroe. I got a funny sensation in my toes. As Curtis aged and the film roles dried up, he battled drugs and alcohol, but found new success as a painter. It's so moving for me. And you know, I've become perhaps a household word in a way. You know, I've become part of everybody's memory. Tony Curtis was 85. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.